Good morning everyone. Today we're going to unbox our bike kit for assembly. We bought this one uh, since we're always traveling and we wanted to bring along our bikes. So it's very convenient to have uh, this uh, bike kit at the back of our car. Uh, wherever, whenever we go to the parks, whenever we go somewhere else, at least we can bring along our bikes ready for use. And also we are heading for a camping trip for four days so it's really necessary to uh, bring along our bikes for other or leisure. So let's start. Towers. This is the one that uh, goes to the uh, hitch. Oh. Yeah, these are the towers. Something like that. There you go, this is the last part. Three long, yeah. Hmm? So slow. Yeah. So we will now start the uh, assembly. Okay, here now is the uh, the uh, connection to the uh, hitch at the back of the uh, car with the corresponding uh, lock that goes this way. That must be the main part, huh? This is the main connection. This one is connect connecting to the uh, hitch. And this is the lock to place here. So this will not be removed from the uh, heads of the car. So this is the um, main base. We will now connect the uh, horizontal bars, making sure that the holes, the horizontal bars are aligned with the hole of the base. Now let's put the lock, these are the locks to prevent uh, the horizontal bar from being detached. I would say I'll put this uh, lock from outside, there you go, then make sure that uh, it's locked like this to prevent it from being detached, see it's being locked now. Okay, let's do the other side, same, same procedure. Again, the uh, hole of the horizontal bar must be aligned with the hole of the base. Okay, so this is the uh, lock to attach the uh, horizontal bar to the base. Then this is uh, make sure that uh, it's being locked like this. So the purpose of this is to uh, give way for the uh, hatch of the car to be open. This is the lock. Okay, so that's it. Uh, now, let's start attaching the uh, bike cradles. The bike cradles should, can be attached like in this position so that the uh, bike uh, wheels should be resting on this place. And this is the, uh, the uh, strap to uh, put the um, bike wheels on the bike cradles. Something like that. There you go. So to insert, just loosen this knob, and then put it. Uh... So this is now the um, assembly of the bike cradles. These are the bike bike cradles. 
uh, this is for the inner bike this is for the outer bike uh, the distance of these uh, two bike cradles should fit the um, the front and the back uh, tires of the bike the bicycles in order to prevent any uh, loose or un uh, un unstable um, uh, seating of the bikes so uh, as I've said uh, this is the strap this is the strap to hold the uh, bike tire for each tire it should be strapped here okay and here and for the inner bikes the same thing the distance of this bike cradle to this one should also fit exactly with the uh, distance of the two tires of your bikes in order to be stable it should not be shorter it should not be longer it should be exactly um, equally or distant between the two tires it should be sit the, the front tire sitting here the back tire sitting here and then again with the strap to hold the uh, bike firmly on the uh, bike hitch so now the next step is to put the uh, the stand on the uh, base like this and we need to put a lock on it again this is a lock to uh, make it stable or put it firmly and then uh, it should be secured with this uh, strap in order to be stable okay I have uh, pre-assembled also the the uh, holders for the bikes these are the holders of the bike it can be adjusted easily so depending on the height of your bike you can go down like this and then just tighten it when the bike is already uh, in place so this is just to tighten the uh, bike and then put the lock against the uh, knob in order to prevent any unwanted uh, turning of the knob like this like it. okay so this and uh, also the lower um, hook should be also in place I have already pre-assembled the the, uh, the holders by putting this uh, lock here and then this also can be adjusted with the knob at the bottom depending on the height of the bike or the other bike so the, by the way this is the adjustable height it can be it can be higher it can be lower depending on the height of your bike and then don't forget to uh, put the light on it okay so that's so this is now the final assembly of the, uh, the uh, bike case This is now the final assembly of this uh, bike hitch. Okay, so are you going to put it into the car? Yeah, let's do it now. So let's try to attach the bike hitch now to the car. So now this is the uh, this is something to uh, lock the uh, bike uh, rack to the uh, heads of the car by inserting this thing here on the hole. So then just put the pin here in the hole here like this. I'm going to put something different, uh, the one with a lock. This one has a lock on it, so it will not be stolen in the parking lot. So I think uh, this is much better. There you go, then you uh, lock with the key here, so it will not be stolen in the public uh, parking area. Uh, this is just to cover it. There you go, good to go. So that's it. Okay, so the last thing to make this uh, bike hitch uh, secure is to put this lock here. This is uh, going this way. And there's a plate to connect like this. 
So just put the screws on here. To make this uh, bike case stable without swaying. So this is the purpose why we have this is uh, to prevent uh, the bike rack from swaying while the car is running. See, it doesn't move at all because it gives more hold to uh, the heat of the car. See, this is the purpose of the uh, the lock in the plate to avoid from swaying and to be more secure while you are driving. Okay, so that's uh, this. Uh, bike uh, rack will impede the uh, opening of the uh, the uh, heads of the car or the uh, trunk of the car. Uh, so I cannot close I cannot close the uh, the, uh, tr the trunk of the car now because of this uh, bike rack. So I need to put down this one by opening this lock. Okay. Open this lock here. Remove it and. Just sway this one backwards so that the uh, trunk of the car can be closed easily without removing it from the seat. There you go. Okay. So now I'm going to put this back to, to lock it. That's it. There you go. Table thing. Aside from swaying, nothing more. We are ready to go except the bike. Okay, I'm now going to uh, put the bike uh, on the rack to see how it goes. Just put this one here. Back wheel. Here. And back wheel there. Okay. So, in order to hold the bike in position, so I'll just lower down this uh, other guide of the bike here. So this one will hold the bike steady while traveling. There you go. So the, this is just stable now. This is the stable now. I uh, will just put the strap on so that the bike will not move you while traveling. Go. So do the other one. There you go. So the bike is now in place. Oh, oh. No, this should be tightened first. Should be maybe the lower one. Okay, that's okay. So the thing. Good job. So the other one, we will put it in this one. Yeah. The other, my bike. I uh, know this is my. This yeah. is my bike. Yeah, this is for demonstration purposes only. This is this is my bike actually. Yeah. I love red. So this is my bike, and then his bike will be on the other end. The other side, side. here. There you go. Got it. Okay. Okay. That's it for now. So if you have been watching uh, my demonstration uh, and enjoyed it um, and learned something from it, please don't forget to uh, comment, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for our future blogs. Now we're ready to go for a camping trip. Bye for now.